implementing a hand hygiene program that's rooted in the four E's, engage, educate, execute, and evaluate, is a great way to get your healthcare facility on the path to continuous quality improvement. In this first video of our four-part series, we'll cover an essential facet of an effective program engaging healthcare personnel. Hand hygiene programs are complex, involving all areas of the facility and healthcare personnel. There are some common elements found in successful programs that can help you engage all personnel and encourage participation in hand hygiene program activities. Begin by making sure that the healthcare personnel have everything they need to clean their hands within reach while they work. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer dispensers should be clearly visible, with at least two for each patient room, one in the hallway for use when entering and exiting a room, and one inside the room for use during patient or resident care. In common areas or areas housing multiple patients or residents, consider having one dispenser for every two beds. Hand washing stations with warm water, soap, and paper towels should also be within the workflow of personnel. Healthcare personnel often perform hand cleaning by habit when going in and out of rooms. That's great, but what about those indications that occur during a patient or resident encounter? Personnel can work together to help one another remain aware of times when hands should be cleaned during care. Two examples are cleaning hands immediately prior to an aseptic task and immediately after removing gloves. Encourage personnel to pay attention to instances when they should have cleaned their hands but were unable to do so. What kept them from cleaning their hands? Empower them to share their ideas about how to improve the hand hygiene program with their supervisor. While aspirational goals should be grounded in reality, imagine the possibilities if all limitations to cleaning hands at the right times were removed. Goals can focus on outcomes, like ensuring that supplies for hand cleaning are always accessible inside and outside of all rooms. Goals can also focus on processes, like educating all personnel on how to keep each other accountable if a lapse in hand cleaning is observed. To achieve goals, set concrete, incremental targets that will build momentum towards achieving the intended result. For example, Targets for adherence to hand cleaning may include conducting daily or weekly audits to ensure that all patient or resident areas have accessible and functional hand cleaning supplies, creating a way for personnel to report barriers to hand cleaning and encouraging them to communicate when help is needed, engaging unit or department specific leaders in goal setting for the areas they oversee and to monitor progress towards achieving those goals. Developing a culture of kind accountability and teamwork in which leaders value the input of personnel. Whether it's cleaning your hands at the right times, training others, or monitoring performance, everyone has a part to play in maintaining hand hygiene at your facility. Regardless of the hand hygiene activity, establishing accountability is essential. Accountability can be formally established through inclusion in job descriptions and evaluations. Informally, healthcare settings that value a culture of safety engage personnel by encouraging them to hold one another accountable in a supportive manner. This might include speaking up to remind colleagues to wash their hands, conducting checklist observations during high-risk procedures like central line insertion, or participating in a range of performance improvement activities. A great way to begin the process of implementing a continuous quality improvement program for hand hygiene is to evaluate how engaged are personnel at your facility. Start by asking a few simple questions. Are supplies for hand cleaning readily accessible and functional at all appropriate locations? Is hand cleaning included and monitored in prevention bundles for high-risk bedside procedures such as inserting a central line? Is participation in hand hygiene initiatives included in job descriptions and evaluations of employees that interact with patients? Are your hand hygiene program goals informed by challenges experienced by personnel in various units and departments within your facility? 
To improve the hand cleaning practices of your healthcare personnel, build a foundation of excellence by ensuring access to supplies, creating awareness of the times hands should be cleaned, developing aspirational goals, and holding personnel accountable. When these elements come together, hand hygiene programs can produce meaningful outcomes that support healthcare personnel in caring for the populations they serve. For more information about hand hygiene, watch the remaining videos in this four-part series or visit our website at cdc.gov forward slash hand hygiene.